the night. Let's look backward, shall we, and remind ourselves of what was quite a pivotal moment in British history. The commander of the operation has sent the following message. Be pleased to inform Her Majesty that the White Ensign flies alongside the Union Jack in South Georgia. God save the Queen. What happens next? What is the nod? Thank you very much. Just What's your reaction, rejoice at that news and congratulate our forces and the Marines. Are we going Good to night, declare war? Yes, do you remember that? Uh, that was the then Defence Secretary John Knott and, of course, Margaret Thatcher. They were rejoicing one of the key moments of the Falklands War. I do have to love her manner uh, with the press there. Can you imagine Rishi Sunak talking uh, like that to the media? Some would say perhaps uh, they would appreciate if he did. Anyway, fast forward to today and you'll be uh, familiar with the fact we've got a new president in Argentina. He, uh, well, he's called quite a few things uh, by a few people. There he is, uh, waving a chainsaw around uh, he's promised to do an awful lot of things, um, so he has. But basically what he's saying, he's going to stop the banks from printing all this money that re he reckons uh, has got Argentina into the mess that it's currently in. Anyway, one of the other things uh, that he mentions is that he reckons that the Falklands returning to Argentina is non-negotiable, saying uh, that the territory is uh, ideally, in his mind, anyway, and I can tell you now, you don't agree with this. Lots of you have already got in touch saying, what does he mean, return it back? to Argentina. It's not theirs to begin with. Anyway, Rishi Sunak's having none of this. He says the sovereignty for the Falkland Islands is not up for debate. So there's absolutely no doubt that the Falkland Islands are indeed British. Uh, so with that in mind, let's cross now to someone, a man I respect massively. I know many of you uh, will too. I talk, of course, of the Falklands veteran Simon Weston, CBE, who joins me now. Good evening uh, and thank you for joining us. What do you think when you hear uh, the new president of Argentina talking like this about the Falkland Islands? islands um i think he's quite deluded really um he, he needs to understand that uh they were the nation of states they were never even a country when he claims that they they uh, were they were in charge of it um the fact is that the falklands is an independent territory that chooses whose sovereignty they live under and they choose our laws, they choose our flag, they choose our parliament. Sometimes I wonder whether that's why, but they choose our parliament. And um, the right to self-determination, freedom and democracy, it's non-negotiable. We do not throw that away for them. The islanders choose to be British, and that's what they should have. It's not down to some guy who consults his psychic to find out how his dog is thinking about his decision making on what to do next and, and that's that's a fact that's what this guy does but um, you know he's deluded uh, you know we, we see far too many power politics played in the world we've only got to look at Mr Putin and what he's done um, you know and this guy is doing the same thing you know they they have robbed their military from any funding so they've not got a military now so you know he can't threaten or offer that he's not going to threaten um, military action. They haven't got a military to provide any action. So I think that's a nonsense. And yeah, this guy needs to check his reality, deal with the corruption in his own country first, and then start talking to people about how they can trade with, how they can work with people. Yeah, and I mean, at this stage, just to be absolutely clear, he's talking about um, doing all of this diplomatically, he says. One of my viewers has been in touch, Gary. He says, uh, Michelle, the Falklands are strategically important to the UK. Do not underestimate it. He says, I was serving when we liberated them last time and I wouldn't hesitate doing it all again if we needed to. Do you think that is a sentiment that would be echoed by many veterans? I think most of us are way too old now, but... Um, the sentiment is is correct. Uh, look, these are British subjects. They want to be British. They have their own, own autonomy, and they should be entitled to sleep soundly in their beds at night. It's not for somebody from a country that has got raging inflation because of the corruption of that country. These people should not have this inflicted on them. And people who say, give the islands back, Argentinians. They never belong to the Argentinians. Get your history correct. People tr have tried over the last five, ten years to cancel history or alter history by the removal of different effigies. 
The fact of the matter is the Falklands never belonged to the Argentinians. They've, they've only ever belonged to France and Britain. France, they couldn't make it work. We put Scottish families in there that did make it work. And the fact of the matter is the islanders have had a referendum where 97% of the islanders said they wanted to remain under British sovereignty. That's about as decisive as you can get. And the Argentinians who were based in the Falklands were asked why they live there. And they were the ones who were the 3%. They were asked why they lived there. And they said, oh, because of the education, because of the health service, and because the police are not corrupt. And then they said, why did you vote? One of my friends asked them, why did you vote to be Argentinian then? And they couldn't answer him. Why would you want to throw up the democracy that they've got? And they've got a, a thriving community. They have a real st stable lifestyle there. Why would you want to throw that away and go with a country that has clearly proven itself over the years to have such corrupt politicians? Well, there you go. That is indeed the billion-dollar question, and I think perhaps the answer to that will be uh, that they absolutely don't want to do that. Uh, but for now, Simon Weston, thank you very much uh, for your time. A man that I respect greatly. Thank you.